shooting at a Dollar General store in Jacksonville, Florida. Just moments ago, ABC News confirmed that multiple people have been killed and the shooter is dead. And that area remains blocked off with FBI agents joining local police at the scene. Our community is sick and tired of being sick and tired. This is a tragic moment. My heart is heavy and I'm just, I'm just tired. Police say a white man wearing a tactical vest and armed with an AR-15 rifle and a handgun with swastikas on them walked into the store and shot and killed three people. The three victims, two men and a woman, were black. Police say he left behind several hate-filled manifestos on a family computer. Armed with an AR-style rifle and a handgun. Then the shooter killed three people before turning the gun on himself, taking his own life. Other than the three individuals killed and the shooter himself, there are no additional people who suffered gunshot wounds. We are not identifying the deceased victims at this time, but I can tell you that there are two male victims and one female victim. All, all of the deceased victims are black. Sheriff Cook gave us information that he left Clay County, headed to Jacksonville. At 1, at 1 18 p.m., he texted his father and told his father to check his computer. At 1 53 p.m., the shooter's family members called the Clay County Sheriff's Office. By that time, he had already began shooting in Jacksonville. The Clay County Sheriff's Office, who has been assisting our agency with this investigation, received information after the shooting that the shooter had authored several manifestos, one to his parents, one to the media, and one to federal agents. Portions of these manifestos detailed the shooter's disgusting ideology of hate. Plainly put, this shooting was racially motivated, and he hated black people. He wanted to kill niggers. That's the one and only time I'll use that word. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Salute and honors to you, brethren, you fellow followers and supporters of this faith, Shalom to you as well, including you few sisters who support this truth in this ministry. And Shalom to the hopefully elect, peace to you. Uh, I wanna go on to this video. Um, the brother just shared with me, Judah Trop 69. And um, I looked at the video with, you know, this uh, shooting. Now I would do a little short commentary if I can because I noticed the first thing I noticed of the original video is how they had this chief of police, I don't know who he is a so called black man standing up here breaking the story giving his press conference and then he used the N word right, so we can see that even in something as negative so called as this he's still using Jake <laughs> You know, Jake said, that's the only time I'm going to use that word because they know they're not allowed to say it. So you see how sensitive things are becoming? So this young man who's obviously under 18 because they won't show his face, although if you commit um, and charged with a heinous act, you're charged as an adult, but for whatever reason they can't put your face on the media. I don't understand that. You know, maybe it's to protect them. But um, our people, man, they'll complain, they'll cry. We've been out here telling you day in, day out, week in, week out. And I'll get some scriptures. But this is disgusting for our people. Our people will march. And it, it just so happened that this man killed himself. But what if he didn't? Then they'll get Jesse Jackson, they'll hit the, the, the fight squad, you know, and everybody, they'll cry and complain and march. 
See, you know the big problem? The big problem is that only we can kill each other because it's acceptable. That self-hatred is acceptable. When somebody else shoots and kills one of us, we're in an uproar because in our minds, we don't feel that they're supposed to be doing such a thing to the people that they have brought into this situation. Right? That's what it seems like to me. It seems like when a cop shoots a Jake, right, they're in a serious uproar, and obviously because they feel he's supposed to uphold the law. But what did we tell you? Meanwhile, people walk by us, they hiss, they mock us, they make fun of us, they say we wear dresses. Let's get a scripture real quick. This is crazy. And we've been telling you who's who. This is a martyr on the left-hand side. And they're ready to do it. And there's many more of them. You better believe that. But they'll say an Arab with strapped with <laughs> C4 around his waist. They'll label him as an actual terror. I'm not going to say the whole word. But how was this country built? On nothing but terror. Anyway. Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. This all goes back to Jacob and Edom. Edom. Right? Um, and the day that thou stoodest on the other side, and the day uh, that the strangers carried away captives as forces, and foreigners into the, his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even though thou waste as one of them. But thou should have not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became a stranger, neither should I have thou rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither should have thou have spoken proudly in the day of his distress. So the Most High who created all this has set all of you, you know, Idumeans, you know, who's follow, who other nations are following, have set all of you up, right, to do what you do, just for it to come back full circle. But you, you know, our people, nobody perishes without the consent of the Heavenly Father. Right? Nobody. Let's get 1 Peter 4 and 17, and then I'll read another one and close up. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, the house of Israel. And if it first begin at us, what shall it be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? You see that? Now we out there every week risking our lives. In fact, at the same time this happened, we had a, it looks to be in a Dumian, but he came up a little drunk and wanting to fight. <laughs> they see what's going down with this system. You know? They can't stand it. It's like, oh well, the hell with it. Just like those Christian nationalists that cause us the curse of Cain. They felt through that slavery and through Christianity they felt that this was God's purpose. And now they're being disappointed that the purpose of the Most High has turned his back, their back, his back on them. And what they're finding out is that we are the ones that are standing up speaking the truth. You know, to prove that, we can't even make you know, say what we need to say in these videos the way should be said. Okay, uh, let's go to Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahawashah and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in the mind or troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as the day of Yahweh is at hand. Um, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall come not except there come a falling away first, 
and that the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition you know and this is an example tactical vests ARs you gotta remember that's his sword the Lord blessed him with the sword and now it's turning on him and he's turned the sword on himself right um, let me go on down to the point and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish right because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved right this is it and for this cause Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie and this is why they'll march we shall overcome this is why they'll continue to say that we're evil right and God has has a trumpet been blown in the city and the Lord has not done it right they'll consider to say these things in fact woe to them to call good evil and evil good this is what's happening what we're doing is good but they're calling it evil we're saying don't do this don't wear that don't eat this right don't commit adultery right don't shoot your brother we tell you all that I have no idea how we telling our people not to be, you know, set up under a system that controls us to do it their will without morals. Right? Don't go jumping the woman to woman. You know, I mean, you know, far as not taking care of your responsibility. Telling the woman don't go lead from man to man. You know, because a man could have multiple wives. That that is another thing. You can only have one woman. Now, and this is why you see all the things that's going on now. A man will get a woman, and then he'll say, uh, you know, he see another woman he like, but the one woman will say, you have to be with me only. But now he has to make a choice. The manhood, everything is taken. It's because you're not following the laws of the Heavenly Father, and this is why our people are in the condition that they're in. It says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. That's the judgment. These people was ready to go to church probably on Sunday. I can't say for sure. I can't say if there's even a stage thing or whatever. I don't know. But I will say judgment comes from the Lord. And everything you do is all judgment. See, there's martyrs on the left-hand side, but there's also martyrs set up to set stages. Let's look up the word martyr. A person who voluntarily suffers death as the penalty of witnessing. And that's what we're going to have to do. There's going to be men in the truth that will be martyrs. No transfer of rulership goes without martyrs. That's just what it is. Some will be martyrs to keep it, and some will be martyrs to take it. You had a lot of them, Edom, Idumian. Idumian is dying for the sake of building up a land that they stole. Anyway, the whole point of the, the, the video is you're not at your rest. And you're not, you know, never trust our enemy. Okay, as the scripture says. It says, never never trust, never trust thine enemy. And that's what we, 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 we can't get. We haven't been doing that. All we do is trust the enemy, right? We don't trust this truth. And your own so-called family member could be your damn enemy. But you can't trust the truth. Let me actually read it. Uh, it's a rock I believe uh, 12 and 10 never trust thine enemy for like his iron rustled so of his wickedness though he humble himself and go a crouching see that's another issue because all these things happen and then you'll get some of them who may even be Jake's who knows but some of them who look like that or some of you like them and say hey you know this is this is a horrible thing we're sorry you know and you know, then our people be like, see, it ain't all of them, you know, and step saying, well, wait a minute, 
as a nation, we've got to get together. Now we know it's of the elect, but I'm just saying in the mindset of these people, wait a minute, as a nation, how can we love anybody else when we can't love ourselves? You know? Anyway, I'm not going to go long on this video. I just want to touch on that. That's all I have on that. Shalom.